Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Ben here. It's Friday, but Sunday's coming. And so I'm excited about today. I'm excited about this Sunday. Uh, the Lord's got some things for us, and I'm just really hoping and praying that you come Sunday morning with an attitude and an expectation that God has something to say to you, that He wants to stir your heart to challenge you in some way. And so, so that's been my prayer for you, and I'm excited to share a couple of announcements and then uh, where we're going with our message on Sunday. So uh, this Saturday, tomorrow, beginning at 7.30 is men's breakfast and a work day. And so we just really want you to come and help us get some projects done down at the community center. We're going to be doing some painting and different things like that. And so really could use your help. Come, to, come for breakfast at the fellowship hall beginning at 7.30. We'll have a quick devotion, and then we'll get to work. If you can bring some things, that would be really helpful as well. Uh, we will need some paint supplies, so if you have some brushes, some rollers, um, some of the longer poles or sticks that go on those rollers, that would be great. If you have a ladder, uh, that would be helpful as well. We've got a few places we need to get up a little bit higher. Um, so if you've got a ladder, uh, drop cloths. We need to cover the carpet in a couple of areas where we're going to be painting as well. So if you have some of those, a putty knife, uh, we need to patch some holes, that type of thing. So um, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and we are really excited about getting the space ready so that we can use it for the things that, that God has in store for us. And so that's my, my pleading to you is that you will come uh, ready to work and, and get some things ready. Also, this Sunday is Family Sunday, and what that means is, is a couple of things. So we typically try to highlight some things going on with our children, our children's ministry, youth ministry, um, what they're learning, some things that, uh, that they want to show you. So, uh, so that's what we try to do on our Family Sundays is highlight something there. Uh, we also uh, do communion as well, so we want you to be prepared for that. And then uh, this Sunday, too, because it's Family Sunday, we are doing our potluck on that Sunday as well. So uh, come bring a dish, something to share. Um, we're just excited to be in fellowship and uh, just a, a great time to be together. So that's what Family Sunday is here, and we want you to be excited about that as well. Uh, over the last few weeks, we've been working our way through some series, not some series, some sayings that Jesus uses throughout the Gospel of John, these I am sayings. And as we've been talking about those and, and looking at what Jesus says when he says these I am statements, Jesus is revealing some things about who he is, his character, his uh, divinity, something about who he is that he really wants us to understand. And so this Sunday, uh, we are looking at this I am statement that's found in John chapter 10, verses 11 through 20. He says, I am the good shepherd. And so last week we talked about where he says, I am the gate. And that's again found in John chapter 10. All of this is in the context of Jesus healing this blind man, Jesus at this festival in Jerusalem. And so, so these things all frame the context of what he's trying to get us to understand when he says, I am the gate, I am the good shepherd, and those are in the same chapter. So we want to be careful that we pay attention to what he says in relation to each one of those, but also in the greater context in that passage as well. So Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, and he lays down his life. The good shepherd lays down his life. He risks his life. He lays it down freely. And then he goes on to say that the sheep know his voice. So there's this... Um, this understanding that this good shepherd uh, goes above and beyond just taking care of the sheep, but also laying down his life, and that this good shepherd also um, is in this relationship with, with the sheep that um, is beyond what they would have understood as well at this time. Remember, Jesus is talking to uh, the Jewish leaders, Pharisees, um, so they understood what a shepherd was and did, and they also understood that in Ezekiel, there's this prophecy of what the shepherd should not be and who this group of shepherds had been that led the people astray, that led the sheep astray. 
that were not good shepherds, that uh, did not protect and guard the sheep. And so Jesus is making some sharp contrast between the shepherds that were warned against back in prophecies of Ezekiel, but now where, where Jesus is identifying who he is in relation to the Father, who he is as part of the, the Trinity, and, and how we are to respond to him now going forward. So I'm excited to share these things. I'm excited to, to bring some of these things to light. The Lord has really been speaking to me uh, in this section as well. Um, what, what also Jesus is trying to draw out as us, as the sheep, there's an identity there for us as well. Um, and Jesus begins to, um, to make that distinction here in John chapter 10. So um, excited to share this. I would encourage you to go ahead and reread uh, these sections that we've been in, but pay special attention to John chapter 10. What, is, what are some things that are standing out to you? What is it about what Jesus says he is that maybe brings more questions to you? What are some things that, that uh, Jesus is highlighting here? So um, praying for you. I'm excited about this, and I hope that you are too. Remember, today's Friday, and it's a, I'm excited about the weekend. I'm excited to be with you. Sunday's coming, and God's got some, some great things that uh, He has in store for us. So uh, looking forward to seeing you then.